Hi guys, this is Yara from OCTV and I'm here with Roman who is judge at the Intel OC Challenge but also known as the Unleash the Beast Computex Overclocking event. Um, so hi Roman, how's hi. it going? Good, yeah. thanks. You? Very well. So most of the overclockers already arrived and are inside right there getting ready for the competition. This competition is split in two parts. There's uh, overclocking competitions for, let's say, professional overclockers, which are representing OEMs as well as separated teams. And there's also a uh, amateur competitions where overclockers have been selected on HWBOT prior to the event. So what is going to happen for the professional overclockers and what makes it different from the amateur one? Well, basically, the amateurs have one and a half hours to run a CPU-C validation and a XTU file. Mm -hmm. And the big difference is that the amateurs only have an air cooling solution and they have to use the hardware we provide to them. And the professionals, they have to run two different setups. Mm -hmm. One is with liquid nitrogen, the other one is using air or water cooling. Okay. And they can use w um, the cooler they want to. Um, if they run a water cooling like all in one cooling solution or air, air cooling solution, everything is fine. Okay. So, um, in terms of benchmark, there's a maximum CPU frequency, which is, I think, that, yeah, it is the benchmark that actually uh, brings back the biggest cash prize. And we have to say that for this competition, the air clock cash prize is higher than the, air, uh, the LN2 clock cash prize. Yeah. Um, this is going to be interesting because usually uh, well, extreme overclocking prices, well, if you want the most money, well, you have to use LN2, you have to be like, you know, like using the whole thing. And this time it's going to be different. So it will be interesting how the guys are going to perform on air. And those guys usually never really try air, actually, right? Yeah, I think so too. Um, what we're going to see, I think, is that people are using bench boxes. So they will put their whole setup into a... Um, uh, into a insulated box and mm -hmm. they will pour LN2 in it so the ambient temperature is decreasing yeah. and they can still use an air cooler that's like bending the rules but that's fine um, it just depends on how they read the rules and I think Intel wants to um, to put the focus onto air cooling because Devil's Canyon has a improved thermal um, interface, interface yeah. material uh, which gives you a better overclocking on air and that's what we will see here today okay and uh, the, um, there is, there's all the benchmarks on top of that. There's W Prime, there's Cinebench. So mainly CPU benchmark. There's no 3D benchmark today. That's correct. And uh, the amateurs on their side are going to bench on XTU. It would be also CPU frequency. And uh, that's, it. Some, that's it. That's it. So those guys got selected on HWBOT. And I think there's about three people from Indonesia, if I'm right. There's a girl competing, which is what? The first girl ever competing in the overclocking competition? Actually, uh, sh she's uh, Shervi, that's her nickname, yeah. and um, she's actually a very experienced overclocker, mm -hmm. um, and I think she's going to do very well compared to the guys. Uh, we also have Bullshooter from Germany, he's also yep. experienced extreme overclocker, and I think also the, the guys from Indonesia are yes, experienced they, overclockers. Yes, there's Hendra hidden by my join as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So those guys are guys that already benched on LN2, and I think... We can probably call them a little bit more than amateurs, right? Yeah, that's, that's correct, yeah. Okay, so it will be interesting to see how this event is going. There's a live stream which is going to start in, uh, in about an hour uh, at 5 p.m. Um, so uh, this live stream will be um, on Twitch TV. It will be at twitch.tv slash overclocking TV. And of course, you can find the scoreboard on HWBOT in the competition tab, uh, OC Challenge. There's one for amateur and there's one for the, the professionals. And if you have any questions, just log into the live stream chat and just ask your questions, Truffman and the judges and ourselves, we are here to reply for it. So I wish everyone a good luck. Yeah. And yeah, see you on the live stream. See you.